know, Adam, I'd really like to learn more about it, how ARB enforces the retrofit program and what my fleet needs to do to maintain compliance with this program. You know, I'll try to give you an overview of the enforcement activities along with some insight as to how to comply with this program. So let me begin by showing you this slide here, which identifies which entities are involved with program enforcement. Okay. Air Resources Board oversees program compliance of all retrofitted engines for all diesel retrofit regulatory programs, deploys inspectors to the fleet sites and conducts random inspections, issues citations and penalties. Local Air Quality Management Districts Most districts have inspection staff to determine compliance with various emission grant programs in conjunction with ARB. District inspectors also inspect stationary sources and portable equipment. ARB Diesel Activity website provides staff contact names and information about program compliance. So what's going to happen when the inspectors come to visit my facility? To begin with, each retrofit regulatory program has various record keeping or reporting requirements to ensure that fleets are retrofitting their engines at the required pace for each year. If a fleet, for example, falls behind its required pace, fails to keep records, reports questionable information or fails to report the required information, this could trigger a visit from ARB inspectors. ARB inspectors have the legal right to enter a fleet's premises and to ask to see the retrofit records for the fleet. They will work with you in a courteous manner, but they do have a mission they must complete. It is best to be cooperative to enable the visit to proceed as smoothly and quickly as possible. While the inspectors are there, they may ask to inspect some of the retrofitted engines on site. They will inspect the retrofit labels on the engine, retrofit device, and vehicle door jam, depending on the given engine application and regulatory requirements. They will inspect the retrofit system to check that the correct system is installed and that it matches the labels. They will inspect for emission control tampering on the engines and may conduct the smoke opacity test to confirm that the retrofit device is functioning properly. They will examine the DPF alarm system to check for illuminated lights and for tampering. They also may check to be sure that any vehicle and engine information reported, such as engine serial numbers, model years, and so on, is accurate. If there are any violations, the inspectors could issue citations ranging from $300 to $10,000 per day, depending on the gravity of the violation, for each violation they identify. They seem to be very thorough in looking for violations. Yes, they are. In addition, since certain types of diesel engines fall under a number of emissions regulatory programs beside retrofit programs, the inspectors have the right to enforce those other programs as well while they're at the site. For instance, truck engines fall under the ARB's periodic smoke inspection program, and the inspectors could review those records to see if the fleet is complying with that program. Any noncompliance found could result in more citation penalties being issued. I guess ARB diesel enforcement needs to be taken very seriously. It sure does. It's best to fully comply with the various diesel programs, and this will reduce the likelihood that inspectors will visit your facility. ARB inspectors also have the authority to inspect engines at roadside and at other random sites, such as construction sites and landfills, for example. How do I ensure that my fleet complies with ARB's diesel regulations? Make yourself an inspection checklist. Having a checklist for each of your diesel engines to make sure you have complied with each of the regulations should provide you with the best insurance possible. Here's what such a checklist should include. ARB diesel webpage contains the requirements for all heavy duty diesel engine regulatory programs. Solid waste collection vehicles, public agency utility vehicles, transit buses, statewide trucks and buses, in-use off-road diesel vehicle regulation, commercial motor vehicle idling, diesel transport refrigeration units, in-use on-road drayage trucks, mobile cargo handling equipment at ports and intermodal rail yards, and others as developed. Information on all of these can be accessed through the diesel activity page on ARB's website. Depending on the fleet makeup, it is quite likely that the various diesel engine applications in a fleet will fall under a number of these regulations, and inspection checklists should be prepared for each regulation. For example, a truck fleet could have truck engine regulations and TRU regulations to comply with, and checklists should be prepared for both. Checklists should be prepared for each of these regulations as appropriate. Trucks, fleet regulations, 
periodic smoke inspection by fleets, diesel engine idling limits, emission control label inspection, red dye diesel fuel inspection, smart way requirements. Now for a detailed checklist example, let's focus on the retrofit aspect of the fleet regulations. Determine which regulation affects my engine. For this example, let's prepare a checklist focusing on just solid waste collection vehicles. Which retrofit is to be on my engine? Is the retrofit installed on my engine? Confirm your fleet manifest inventory for the retrofit installation date and deadline. Is the retrofit device and engine vehicle correctly labeled? Inspect engine emission certification label to check for engine family name and correct DECS installation. Inspect engine label for DECS family name. Inspect retrofit label for matching DECS family name. Inspect the door label for compliance. Inspect retrofit and exhaust system for leaks or loose connections. Inspect for presence of retrofit servicing cap must be installed tight. Inspect retrofit alarm lamp for proper function. If the alarm remains on, diagnose and fix problem. Observe the engine tailpipe for presence of soot or smoke. If present, diagnose and fix problem. Inspect engine governor, fuel system seals, computer controls for any evidence of tampering. Keep up to date maintenance records for retrofit installation, servicing, and engine servicing in a readily accessible file. Many of the inspection items listed would apply to most other heavy duty diesel engines as well and the other regulatory programs. However, certain regulations may have unique requirements, so you should consult the ARB website for that information and include it in your checklist as appropriate. When ARB inspectors arrive, they will be checking for all these items to confirm your compliance with the various regulations. It's been quite an informative day. Now I have a much better idea how important the retrofit program is, how I can go about selecting retrofit devices for my engines, what to expect from retrofit device installers, proper engine and retrofit device maintenance practices, and lastly, maintaining program compliance. Well, thanks for coming over today, Adam. I really appreciate it. You know what, Tom? It has been my pleasure. And the ARB hopes that you, too, have benefited from this video series. If you have questions or need guidance pertaining to the various retrofit programs, please consult the ARB Diesel Activity website or contact ARB staff for any specific issues. Thanks for joining us. This concludes the video series, Emissions Retrofits, What Diesel Fleet Administrators Need to Know. We hope that you have viewed all five modules in this series so that you are aware of the critical importance of the retrofit program, the key steps to take in successfully retrofitting your engine fleet, and how to maintain program compliance. For more information, or if you have any questions, please consult these sources of information provided by the Air Resources Board.